Hi, and welcome to another Careers with STEM online. And I am delighted today to be bringing you a focus on engineering. What does it look like to study engineering? Why would we do it? How has it changed during this pandemic era? Um, and what's it, you know, what are the advantages of studying at university? Joining us to unpack this is Dr. Eva Cheng, who is the Deputy Director of Engineering and IT at UTS. Welcome, Eva. Uh, thanks for joining us today, Eva. It's been a bit of a 2020. How's your year been so far? Yeah, it's been an interesting year. Uh, one word I'd capture it in is learning. So lots of learning happening from our side in terms of transitioning to online teaching after one week of teaching on campus, but also learning from our students. Uh, they've been really adaptive in changing to online teaching and also engaging in a completely different way. So one word, learning. Engineering is a really diverse profession. You can end up working on anything from biomedical devices to working overseas with organisations to improve housing to working in software engineering. Um, and I guess engineering students have to be pretty adaptable. So how did the students cope with the whole flipped learning perspective this year? Yeah, I have to say our students uh, did a fantastic job. Uh, we all didn't have much time to change over. It was basically in the span of one to two weeks. And uh, from the teaching team, we had we agilely responded and transitioned on to teach with Microsoft Teams. The students were amazing. Uh, they were very patient. They downloaded the software they needed, uh, got the information they needed from us, and we all worked together. It's about setting up that safe space of, okay, this is all new for everybody. We've not done this before. If you make mistakes, that's okay. We'll learn and we will get there. So that was quite an experience. And it turned out at the end of the semester that um, everything went okay. Uh, it is not the same as teaching in a classroom, but there are advantages and disadvantages to teaching online. So some things did, went, well, they went better uh, teaching online. So what, what did you find change this year? Did the, um, did the, did the students this year uh, perform better in some areas? Were there more challenges for them? What did it kind of look like for, for the students? Yeah, certainly one challenge was building that social connection uh, with your peers, because I teach in first year. And first year, a lot of that is kind of finding who's your crew, you know, who's in your class, who might you be studying with for the next four to five years, and finding your new friends on campus. So it's not easy to do that online. It's not to say that it's impossible, uh, but it just you have to think about how do we structure and facilitate our classes so you can still build those social connections. And in the subject that I teach, it's also based on teamwork. So how do you build that team cohesion, uh, manage yourselves? Some students are working in different time zones. Uh, so yeah, a, a lot of it was around students learning new skills, but a lot of it was also from our team thinking about how do we facilitate to support that kind of learning. And I think it, in thinking about it in terms of the advantages, it's also setting our students and ourselves up for the changing nature of work. You will be working with transnational teams who are largely going to be online in different time zones. So starting early and looking at these skills is not entirely a bad thing. And I think you can also learn as, um, and particularly, you know, with, with um, because you work in getting you know women in engineering together in that first year and really supporting each other, I think there's a lot that you can learn about being a great supporter. Um, you know, something as simple as an emoticon when someone introduces themselves uh, can really boost uh, someone if you're you know looking for your your crew and also looking for you know other women in engineering to connect with. Yeah. I have to say, one thing we're definitely going to keep is uh, the chat live functions uh, when we're teaching because students can interact on the chat, they can have discussions, definitely emojis, and when it's appropriate too, you can unmute and talk and show your video as well. So there's different ways of contributing to a class and to your teamwork, whereas when it's face-to-face -face teaching, um, it's more everybody is contributing in the same way. So in some ways, online has kind of enabled more diversity of interaction. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I know a lot of unis have been talking about keeping some of these elements uh, for 2021, irregardless of how things look with the rest of the world. What does engineering look like for UTS next year? Yeah, I think, again, back to that word of learning, uh, this year has provided us the opportunity to think about what is really valuable with teaching face-to-face -face and what is really valuable about teaching online and how do we take the strengths of both and put it together to see what we can offer in 2021. Because something that I've really embraced for teaching online is now we can dial in people from anywhere. We can bring in guest speakers who don't live in Sydney. And that's something I definitely love to keep for next year is how do we bring the world into the classroom. So Eva, where can our kids go to find out more information about what it looks like to, uh, to study engineering and um, find out more information about UTS? 
Yeah, so please join us for Open Week. Uh, it's a whole week that you can come and explore what's on offer at the university. So that's from the 31st of August to the 5th of September. And before then, we've also got our campus live in a VR immersive experience. So please jump online and also reach out to us anytime if you've got any questions. Love to see you in class next year. And you have a Girls in STEM design challenge uh, coming up for National Science Week. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so this is with the Women in Engineering and IT program, but in collaboration with Engineers Without Borders and the Tech Girls Movement. So we've designed some interactive activities over two days where we'll be reaching out and working with uh, parents and school kids and teachers in regional New South Wales to kind of bring the STEM outreach that we normally do face to face, but online so we can reach communities that we might not have otherwise been able to get to, especially in our current time. So again, thinking about who can we reach now? What are the opportunities with being online? And let's do it. I love that idea of learning by um, by doing and by experiencing like that. It all sounds so fantastic. Thank you so much, Eva, for uh, joining us today. And we'll pop those URLs where you can find out more about what's happening at UTS Engineering. Yeah. Thanks, Anna. Lovely to meet you.